Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's bird video. Going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 14th of May and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the essential affairs and issue ensembles. Very much like a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Guess it's pretty much to the end of May. I'll get to that for you in a moment. Just say that first. The video today is our 6 MBK weather forecast and we've also released the 8th summer 2020. 25 update that's an april data special so uh check that one out if you'd like to do that like share and subscribe on all today's videos and content thank you so much everyone for doing that this is a video upload for 10 14 day no live stream as i'm off to do job number two two um which one which one I want to do a, a, a job at number two uh, this afternoon, so I won't be here in the tower to do a live stream. So uh, we're uploading a video version of the Ted Morton Day. Next live stream will be on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Now, before I do anything else, I've got to say hello to my good friend Martin and his friend John. So uh, Martin is a long-term uh, viewer, MK, long-term viewer of uh, Gab's weather vids. And uh, Martin's friend John has got an exhibition at the Troubadour, I think that is, a gallery down in London. This is the website of the uh, Troubadour Gallery. And you can find the link to uh, the uh, Troubadour Gallery's website in the description with this video. But the exhibition Exhibition, it's very timely, is actually a Star Wars exhibition. Because, of course, it is Star Wars Day today. May the 4th be with you all, everybody. Um, no, uh, today, from uh, 12 until 5 p.m. At the Troubadour Gallery, uh, there is, in fact, a Star Wars exhibition uh, going on. And uh, I'm going to take... I think it's running until the middle of May, by the way. So, you can't get there today. I think the exhibition will continue uh, for a couple of weeks. And I'm going to take myself down there, I think, if I get a bit of spare time between all the jobs I'm doing. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I've got complete locations here for uh, Star Wars. It sounds like an amazing... Uh, exhibition that uh, uh, John has put on. Um, so, uh, if you're interested in that, then, uh, you know, take yourself off and you're local, or you want a bit of travelling, um, take yourself off to the Troubadour Gallery and have a look at John's uh, exhibition uh, there for Star Wars. And um, it sounds like a really nice, uh, nice, nice uh, event and it looks like a lovely venue as well. So, uh, have a, uh, have a, have a little mosey around the Troubadour Gallery and uh, you'll be able to see John's exhibition. Uh, okay, so uh, thank you so much to Martin. Thank you so much to John for uh, pointing that out. Okay, right, let's have a quick look at uh, the latest info from Earth uh, from School.net. So we've got high pressure between Scotland and Iceland around that. Hold on, everybody. <coughs> There we go, that's better. It wouldn't be a gaff a video or live stream without a car. Uh, so, around, got high pressure in Iceland and Scotland. Around that, we're bringing in what well, is actually quite a cold north northeasterly wind. I think it's probably turned a bit colder than we were expecting two or three days ago with these north winds. Not going to last very long, but uh, it does feel really quite chilly. If you're not putting your head out the window or out back door yet, you, uh, you are feeling that uh, east northeasterly wind, uh, especially so in the east. Uh, these with GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. We're Canterbury today, the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Canterbury. Now, check this out. We are going down, so we're still dropping actually with the upper air temperature. If we haven't reached our college point yet, that will be sort of um, tomorrow. And uh, we are going to get down to minus 5 at 858 pm, which really is quite cold and impressive for, uh, impressively so. For May, to get the upper air temperature down to minus 5 uh, to 858. There weren't all that many days in the winter. <laughs> but uh, we got as low as that, to be honest. As I said, it's very brief. And then we're seeing the upper air temperature coming back up again as uh, we go through um, next week. But to only return back close to average, there's no sign that we uh, uh, go into that excessive warm that we had uh, through the middle part of last week. And then beyond that, just hovering very close to long-term 
Average so looking quite a lot cooler compared to uh, what we have been seeing over the past few weeks, I think. It's a shame CET isn't updating at the moment because it would have been you know, like CET for the first of May would have been really high. I don't know what it would have come in at, but it would have been very, very spectacularly high. And I would imagine it would be, we would get some very impressive drops in the CET now. So it would be quite entertaining, uh, it would have been quite entertaining if we'd been able to. Uh, see both daily updates for Central Tech, but unfortunately, you haven't updated since the 27th of April, so uh, uh, we're uh, we're missing out on that at the moment. Hopefully, we'll get, get it updated next week. Presentation wise, well, the story there doesn't change, very dry over the next week to 10 days, a little bit more showery into the second half of May, but even then, um, you know, that is a dry ensemble graph, a dry spell, never seems to end at the moment, does it? Now, check this out temperature anomalies. For the next five days, up to the 6th of May, actually coming out cold and out shooting the weather has crept up on us over the last few days. There was a bit of a hint, but it would go quite cool, quite a bit cooler. Um, but, you know, for that extent to blow average temperatures for England and Wales, I think that's a bit of a surprise. I don't think we were expecting that like a couple of days ago. The, uh, so let's quickly flip that over to the night run and go 6 to 10. So 6 to 10 day temperature normally uh, up to the 14th. But Ben starts to stage uh, a little bit of a recovery. But 10 to 14 day temperature normally is close to average. As I said, there's no sign of a return to the excessive heat at the moment, anyway, that we had last week, or this week. Um, Precipitation-wise, next seven days coming out drier than normal as well. Four to ten day precipitation normally up to the middle of May coming out dry, but average to have a story there. It never changes, does it? Right, okay, Icon. Uh, let's start off with uh, chart date, I should say. Uh, UK met your run, showing high pressure, 1 power 25 billion bars right at the top of the country, and that high pressure persists throughout uh, the uh, coming week. That gets us to the 11th of uh, May, still with that ridge, maybe weakening, weakening a bit, but still with a ridge uh, across northern West Park Europe and out into the Atlantic. Now, this is Icon. Icon. So high pressure again in control and in the ascendancy throughout next week. Does weaken a little bit with that pressure late next week. That's next Sunday, uh, 11th of May, by which time a trough could be starting to form through western parts of Europe. So it might just be beginning to uh, wobble a little bit with some showery conditions. Let's have a KMA. It's looking again. Lots of dry uh, weather coming through. With that, uh, through the coming week, in towards the middle part of May. Well, low pressure has a go at trying to get in from the southwest, but then the high pressure just strengthens again over to the east of the country. So high and dry up to the 16th of May, there with KMA, and probably turning warmer again as we move on into the uh, middle part of the month. And um, then Miss Abbott GFS uh, Midnight Run is looking once more high pressures right over top of the country for the middle part of the coming week. High pressure remaining remaining dominant uh, throughout the uh, north and west Europe and into the Atlantic through to next weekend. So it's all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Eventually, by about day 9 10, high pressure begins to ease out to the west. Something a little bit cooler starts to come around the side of the high pressure uh, from the north again. Uh, as I said, there's no sign of a return to those southerly winds and hot temperatures, really, for the next 10 days, anyway. And then, late on, uh, maybe a hint of something a bit more unsettled, around the middle of the second half of May. Possibly a trough then started to bring showers or longer spells of rain. The wind's coming in from an easterly direction. We end up looking like that by the 20th of May. We've got high pressure on ice and low pressure down towards Spain. Wind's coming in from the east, a little bit on the uh, cool and showery side. And the GFS 6 uh, by comparison, again, showing that high pressure in control and dominating the weather through next week. Uh, through next weekend, pressure weakening a little bit. Turning showery in some places. Day 9 and 10 looks like that. So plenty of high pressure at 1,025 millibars. A little bit on the cool side winds in from the uh, northeast. So uh, again, temperature probably close to average, a bit cool, but uh, mainly dry. Just beyond day 10, we strengthen that northeasterly flow. So it could start to bring some showers into southern southeastern regions. But to be honest, it's still all high pressure uh, dominant here. That gets us to the end of GFS. Six, seven, um, and high pressure more towards Scandinavia now. Uh, so, again, might be a little bit showery without low pressure down across France, the low countries, particularly myself, 
I must now be, but a century, you know, that's like, uh, that's like two weeks away, so we can't take that seriously. Actually, the broad picture is very much still a high pressure to be in control. The only change is like its position, its centre, and, and where the wing uh, flow and direction is coming from. If you, if you hold on. <coughs> So, so again, everyone, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so, so everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know. We'll be back this on all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Well, get them to subscribe too. Thank you so, so everyone for doing that. About 50 subscribers get to 19.7k. And you could give us stuff. That'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. And you could consider giving a little donation to guys. Well, if you can afford to do so, this is guys. Well, PayPal page. The link is in the description with the uh, uh, video. So, uh, go to guys. Well, PayPal page. Sign into your PayPal account. And then you can donate whatever you like to guys. Well, is will give you a shout out in the video. So maybe you would shout would like shout out for your uh, YouTube channel, for your uh, website, for your uh, business website, uh, for your uh, Star Wars exhibition <laughs> at the Troubadour Gallery. You know, whatever you would like, we we could do that uh, for you, and it's no problem. Uh, whatsoever. It's all a little bit of publicity for you, and uh, it's helping to pay for the channel as well. So, thank you so much everyone for getting involved and supporting Gaz Weather Visit. It really is amazing. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM, again with high pressure dominating the weather on Wednesday, and through to a Thursday and Friday as well, plenty of high pressure control and in the ascending into uh, next weekend. We keep the high pressure going, but maybe some show dishes with this trough down to the south and to the southwest. Possibly turns more unsettled then around days 8, 9 and 10 with this low pressure out to the west. Maybe bring some heavy showers northwards. That's how we aimed up by uh, day 10, the 14th of May. High pressure event between Scotland and Ireland, so a bit of a northern blocking feature. Winds coming in uh, from the east. It could be showery, I suppose, with this low down in the south. And then the ECM rounding it all off. High pressure dominating the weather throughout the weekend, uh, throughout the week into the uh, weekend as well. Trying to bring this low up from the south as we go through into uh, Monday the 12th, Tuesday the 13th of May. But this high pressure still generally holding that off. So it comes from showers in south, I suppose, but mostly dry, I think, with that high pressure up to day 10. Not warm, not heat wave on the cool side of high, but, uh, you know, we remain high and dry there. Oh, gosh, show you extend it. I think the game that the HM extends out to 360 hours, uh, you know, <laughs> it's quite a change on what I'm used to. So uh, that's uh, 276 hours, and it's, uh, it's Thursday, 15th May. High pressure out to the northwest. Winds coming in from more of a north or northeast direction. And that high pressure then uh, sort of weakening a little bit towards the northwest. Going further north, actually, becoming a northern blocking feature. So this might start to turn unsettled in the extended. Let's have a look. Yes, it does. So, uh, you see, the high pressure goes even further north into the second half of May, starts to centre around Greenland, and that allows the trough to develop then underneath it. That's like a classic northern blocking scenario in the summer. That can turn into a very wet and quite chilly pattern <laughs> in the summer. That's the kind of thing we had in 2007. So, uh, uh, you know, signs, hints of a bit of a breakdown to the dry spell there from the East Jam. But a long way off, it's beyond day 10 and probably won't verify. We shall see. This is a this is the precipitation forecast up to day 10 based on that uh, East Jam run from Tometio.com. Oh, a lot of dry weather to come. Well, basically, completely dry. Uh, barely any measurable rain. Measure, barely any measurable, measurable, measurable rain for the next 10 days there. Goodness gracious me. Um, but these are the options on the table within the East. It's a bit giddy today. It's a bit giddy. I'm running on coffee today. No, I'm not running on coffee. I love coffee, actually, and chocolate at the moment. But I have had quite a bit of tea, so I'm running on caffeine <laughs> at the moment. Right, these are the options on the table within the East um, Ensembles today for day 10. Gets us to the 14th of May. 26 members of the East um, Ensembles with high pressure weight to the northwest, as you include operation run by the way high pressure rate to the northwest low pressure to the southeast winds coming in from a north northeasterly direction mostly dry up to day 10 but a bit on the cool side 18 with high pressure between scotland and iceland winds coming in from the east and seven with <clears throat> with low pressure to the east a ridge out to the west and winds coming in 
a matter westerly direction. And to the time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to 19th of May. 18 members of the ECM ensembles then with high pressure going up towards uh, Norway and Greenland. Low pressure through there. So that's Tony Moore and said, probably not cold, but Tony Moore and said to push you so for south and west. We've got 17 still with a strong air of high pressure, more or less right over the top of the country. And then we've got 16 with high pressure just to the southwest. Winds coming in from off the Atlantic a little bit like that. And we know there's some low pressure up here as well. So, um, and then we've got block around green. So, that includes the charming operation, but we know it turns more unsettled in the extended bear. And then CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar height size, breaking down into weak pairs. The first weak pair takes from four. To the 10th of May, the next week with a ridge from the Atlantic into the north and west of Europe, low pressure to the south a bit, mostly dry but cooler with winds in from an east or north east direction. Week two will be the 11th to the 17th of May, high pressure between Iceland and Scotland, mostly dry with winds coming in from uh, the east. With that to one, week three will be the uh, 18th to 24th of May, high pressure going towards Greenland. Low pressure through bear. Is that starting to turn more unsettled? Week four looks like that. Not especially. This is the 25th to the 31st of May. And we have high pressure just out to the west. And around that, we bring the wind in from more of the northwest direction, which should still be mostly dry, you would have thought. Uh, so it looks like a very dry bay still on the car. We shall see. We're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please can you like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Brothers. Get them to subscribe too. And uh, drop a comment. Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Could consider a donation as well. That'd be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much everyone. All uh, right, tomorrow we're going to have a 6M UK weather forecast. We've got a re-upload again tomorrow. This is Bank Holiday Monday. We always have a historic video at Gazworth. It's on the Bank Holiday Mondays. And uh, this time, as voted for, by Gaz Weathers community on the uh, com community post page. Uh, we're going to be re-uploading the video that I did, I think it's for August Bank Holiday Monday 2013, so like 12, 12 years ago, is it 12 years ago? 12 years ago, um, a long, long time ago, not in a galaxy far, far away though, um, for summer 1995, so uh, tomorrow's, historic, uh, tomorrow's historic weather video will be a re -up Upload from my original channel for summer 1995 from August 2013, and that will be released at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So it should be quite an interesting video against Young Gal with uh, with uh, you know old tech and whatnot. So uh, please <laughs> please be kind in the comments. But uh, that will be your uh, bank holiday historic video for tomorrow. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Um, I'll do job number two now. So um, you know I'm going to be busy, busy, busy. You enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.